Herr Mozart. Tak. Gentlemen, sit down. Mozart. Are you aware that I have declared the French play of Figaro unsuitable for our theater? Yes, sire. Yet we hear you're making an opera from it. Is this true? Who told you this, Majesty? It is not your place to ask questions. Is it true? Oh, yes, I... I admit it is. Would you tell me why? Well, Majesty, it is only a comedy. What you think, Herr Mozart, is scarcely the point. It's what His Majesty thinks that counts. But Your Majesty... Mozart, I am a tolerant man. I do not censor things lightly. When I do, I have good reason. Figaro is a bad play. It stirs up hatred between the classes. In France, it has caused nothing but bitterness. My, my own dear sister, Antoinette, writes me that she is beginning to be frightened of her own people. Mm. Sire, I swear to your majesty, there's nothing like that in the piece. I've taken out everything that could give offense. I, I hate politics. I'm afraid you're rather innocent, my friend. In these dangerous times, I cannot afford to provoke our nobles or our people simply over a theater piece. Majesty, this is, this is just a frolic. It's a piece about love. Love. Again. <laughs> and it's new. It's entirely new. It's so new that people will go mad for it. I have scenes. <sighs> the end of the second act, for example. It starts out as a simple duet. Just a husband and a wife quarreling. Suddenly, the wife's scheming little maid comes in. It's a very funny situation. Duet turns into trio. Then the husband's valet comes in. He's plotting with the maid. Trio turns into quartet. Then a stupid old gardener comes in. Quartet becomes quintet. And so on, on and on and on. Sextet, septet, octet. How long do you think I can sustain that, Majesty? I have no idea. Guess. Guess, Your Majesty. Imagine the longest time that such a thing could be sustained and then double it. Well, six, seven minutes, eight minutes, 20, sire, 20 minutes, <laughs> 20 minutes of continuous music, no recitatives. <laughs> sire, only opera can do this. In a play, if more than one person speaks at the same time, it's just noise. No one can understand a word, but with opera, with music, with music, you can have 20 individuals all talking at the same time, and it's not noise, it's a perfect harmony. Mozart, music is not the issue here. No one doubts your talent. It's your judgment of literature that's in question. Even with the politics taken out, this, this thing would still remain a vulgar farce. Why waste your spirit on such rubbish? Surely you, you can choose more elevated themes. Oh, elevated, elevated. What does that mean, elevated? I am fed to the teeth with all of these elevated things, old dead legends. Why must we go on forever writing only about gods and legends? Because they do. They go on forever. <laughs>